my first car. Yeah. My mom's old Volvo. Was it really? It was. And she it could felt, pack everyone in it. Right. You know, I mean, but it was it was old. She <laughs> felt very safe sending you out in I that Volvo. I think she did because they're, oh. they're known for their safety. Oh, and here's yeah. one that uh, Ed Wallace says is going to be known for its terrific gas mileage. Good morning. Well, good morning, Tim and Lauren. Yeah, there is a big move by Volvo. In fact, from here on out, Volvo's going to start getting rid of their five-cylinder engines, their six-cylinder engines, and all they're going to have are turbocharged four-cylinders, hybrids, and diesel engines. They're going to call it the Drive E, and this is the new Volvo V60, but a number of the models have already switched over to Drive E starting this month. Now, a decade ago when we did the V series, it was rated 23 miles to the gallon out on the highway. This one is rated 37 miles to the gallon. That's a 60% increase, but it gets actually even better than that because I got 44 miles to the gallon coming in this morning, and that's incredible for this size car. I'll put it in another way that everybody will understand. In the old model, if you were doing highway driving, 15,000 miles a year, you would have bought 652 gallons of gas a year. With this one, 405 gallons. That's almost 250 gallons less. But the V series is different this time around. There are two little things I wish Volvo had done. I wish the tilt and telescopic steering wheel went closer to the dash by a couple inches. And I wish the dash looked a little bit more expensive. But Again, look how Volvo lays everything out in the center console. The ergonomics of all Volvos are the best in any car. Every button's easy to see, it's well lit at night, it's easy to touch it, you don't have to lean. Also, even though this is a V60 station wagon, look at the contour of the seats. It's really reminiscent of much more expensive luxury sports cars than what you would expect in a Volvo. Even as you go into the back, you're going to see seat contours that make the back seats almost as comfortable as the front. Now, ride and drive. Here's the other big surprise in this Volvo V60. It is one of the quietest cars I've ever reviewed. As with all Vol Volvos, they're really easy to handle, they're very nimble, and they don't feel heavy while you're driving it. And the body rigidity on this one is phenomenal. It's like the BMW 3 Series used to be. There's just no flex whatsoever. I would say the impression of driving this car down the road was similar to driving a luxury car that, kid you not, $30,000 more money. Now, I don't know a Volvo station wagon still sells in the market. People like crossovers. But we're going to see this Drive E system show up very quickly in all of the XC Series in Volvo, or at least over the next year or so. They introduced a new XC90 yesterday in New York City. All things being said, it starts at 35,000. This one equipped the way it is, moonroof and everything, is 42. But we're changing the car business. A decade ago, I brought over cars like this, and they're rated 23, 24 miles to the gallon on the highway. Now I'm getting almost double that, and that's a good change. With that, you all have a good weekend. Nice. You can listen to Ed on 570 KLIF tomorrow. His car column is always in Saturday's Fort Worth Star-Telegram. Thanks, Ed.